Hello, hello, Jocelyn. Good evening, how are you? Hello, hello, can you hear me, Jocelyn? Hi, good evening. Yes, I can hear you. Awesome, awesome. How are you today? I'm so far so good, thank you. What did you do today? I today work. Uh, it's my Tuesday for me because I work from Tuesday to Saturday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's my uh, my Tuesday. Oh, that's good. That's good. And uh, are you off on Tuesdays? No, I am off on Sunday and Monday only. Oh, okay, okay. Well, at, at least you get one day. If... Two days. I have two days to be on. Oh, it's two days? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. And what do you usually do on your days off? I usually go out because I really like to go out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like, for example, to go to the movies or to the park? I prefer to go to visit pueblitos. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, for example, like Suchitoto, San Martin. Yes. Um, where's that place where they make the pupusas? Planes de Renderos. Renderos, yes. Antiguo. Antiguo. Oh, yeah. I hear that. I love it, too. Uh, Jocelyn, would you be so kind to read for me this section right here, please? Okay, just let me one moment, teacher. Yes. Can you can you see my screen? Uh, yes, I can see you. So let me one moment because I am now from my computer since I can. Oh, okay. That's okay. I can't teach you. I have some problem with my computer. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, can I have another volunteer? Okay, now I can, teacher. Oh, okay. Go ahead and read for me the importance of training and development in the workplace. We're going to be looking at this paragraph and we are going to discuss why it is important for training and development in the workplace. Okay, the importance of training and development in the workplace. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base on all employees. But many employers find the development opportunities expensive. Employees also miss out on work time while attending training sessions, which may delay the completion of projects. Five, the potential drawbacks. Training and development provides both the company as a whole and the individual employees with benefits that made the cost and time a worthwhile investment. Perfect, perfect. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the vocabulary in this paragraph? Nobody? Okay, um, Jocelyn, what do you understand from this paragraph? How would you explain this to somebody or what is it talking about? I guess that as the title said, the importance of training development in the workplace. Uh, nowadays, it's really important that employee have trainings in for something new that is going to be in the company. Like for example, in the company that I work, is we are going to receive a new update about a process that it will be some changes we receive a training before practicing that's good or for example maybe if there's a new application that you're yes. going to use in the workplace or maybe if there's going to be a new system or software you know or a lot of people right now are receiving training about cryptocurrency in the workplace since it's affecting the economy Okay, awesome. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, guys, I would like for everybody 
we are going to read this article, The Importance of Training. We're going to read it in pairs, and then we are going to read it together as a class, and we are going to discuss how we can put this into practice in our everyday life. Since everybody here works, has a job, I imagine that everybody has experienced this situation, especially nowadays with technology. I remember back in the days when I was 25, 26, when I started to teach English, I was working at Academia Europea. And I remember in those years, we did not use laptop projectors. Um, we had a radio and we had CDs and we would put the CDs in the CD player for the students to practice the audio. If we wanted to put a video, we had to move a television and uh, connect the television to a DVD. I mean, it was it was totally different from the way that classes are being taught nowadays in El Salvador. You go into a classroom and you, if you don't have a laptop or a projector, the teacher can't teach the class. Very simple. You know, the old school teachers you could give a class with one marker and a piece of paper and you can give a class. But nowadays it's totally different, totally, totally different. So how do you think that Mr. Santos was able to go from being your 2005 teacher to 2022 teacher, how do you think this transition happened? Tell me your opinion. Anybody? Teacher. Yes, Erwin. Yes. Teacher, the technology changed the person. The That's technology right. changed the, the professional mm -hmm. and the technology helped to, to learn more in that moment, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah? Because you have an internet, mm -hmm. you can find internet, mm -hmm. you can find in internet all that you want, you can find internet in yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for example, in the year 1990, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. You don't have a computer, you didn't have a computer. Yes, no, no computers. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the 1990, in the 1980, yeah, mm -hmm. 1990, no, no, sorry, 1990, uh -huh. uh, maybe you could find the computer IBM mm -hmm. with the basic. That's right. Only that. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. right. That's, That's right. Mm -hmm. Now you have, we, uh, we live with older generation, mm -hmm. millennial, millennium. Mm -hmm. Millennials. Uh, Millennials, yes. Millennials. Uh, yes, millennials. And they they have all advantage. That's right. Advantage. That's right. They can find uh, all information. That's right. Okay. I do, I remember when I, I started at the university mm -hmm. to visit it at the library mm -hmm. to, to will find yes. a book. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. And, uh, but uh, for this one, in the moment, for to get a new job, mm -hmm. you have to be all information in your mind. That's right. And the competition mm. is so difficult in that moment. Yes. 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 This is a different <laughs> now. The, the 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 information is so important. But mm -hmm. many people can get information. Mm -hmm. The company want mm -hmm. a person, mm -hmm. uh, one staff, one mm -hmm. person in the staff mm -hmm. to have a good information in your mind. Correct. Yeah? Correct. 
Correct. And you know what? You know, for me, what is so amazing, and I say this with all my heart, it is so amazing that I am living in the first country in the world that accepted Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency. Do you know how awesome that is? Because with El Salvador being a competitor in the global market of cryptocurrency, to me, that's like an honor. To me, that's like, I'm thank, thank you, God, that I am in El Salvador. Thank you that I am a part of this system that is changing, revolutionizing the world. And it would not be possible if it weren't for technology. You know, so for me, being in this country at this time, it's a blessing. I, all I can say is thank you, my God. There is no other country I would rather be right now than El Salvador. Because of all the revolutionary things that are happening in this country. Right now is a time of inspiration and motivation. El Salvador is going to the top. Remember that. Thank you, Erwin, for your participation. Uh, anybody else wants to share their ideas? Somebody? It's okay. You can talk. Nobody? No? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, now, what we are going to do is read the article. This article is coming from the student book. You're going Sir? to... Yes? Yes, and sorry for the interruption. Um, That's okay. Hey, Marlon, how are you? Good evening. Welcome. I could, uh, thank you, sir. I'm sorry for cause the last Monday I couldn't uh, participate in this class because I had problems on traffic. Okay. And I am a little bit disappointed today because I'm really in a, I'm trying to sign in in the English Corporate website, but it's also giving me the same issue. Okay. I don't know what I have to do to resolve this issue, sir. All right. Let me go ahead and report that today. Uh, and I'm going to see how I can help you right now. Yes, I can send you a picture of the uh, website. And okay. it's always the same issue. My uh, email address is not registered. So send me a screenshot. Send me a screenshot. Okay. I'm going to send you this information. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sam, thank you. All right. We're going to go ahead and read the article. This article is coming from unit number two, training in the workforce. Article, the importance of training and development in the workplace. So what you are going to do is you're going to click uh, this is on page number 16, page number 16 in the student book. You are going to go to the first link and you are going to click on it. When you click on it, you are going to go directly to the article which is the importance of training and development in the workplace. Any questions? Any questions? Not so far, Not so far sir. Okay. So we're going to go to the student book, right? We're going to go to the student book. We're going to go to page 16. And then we're going to click on the link. And we're going to read the article right here in pairs. 
And then after that, we will read it together and discuss some ideas how this affects us every day, especially nowadays with such a technologically advanced changing world, you know, where even now money is becoming digital. It's a totally new concept. You have Bitcoin cities, you have the metaverse, uh, they're creating a whole new society, branding on the virtual realm. I mean, it's NFTs, you got NFTs now. I mean, it's incredible how technology uh, has revolutionized our life. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? When you when you say nowadays, you are talking about the actual days. Correct. Nowadays All right. is our in dia. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's practice. Uh, I am now trying to connect my my other device. Okay. And when the the device is ready, please connect to the room too. Okay, of course. Thank, thank you, teacher. Yes, sir. And do I I don't know I I can um, I can uh, yeah. share the screen. Only the host can share in this meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I can't. Well, uh, you. You have an article in your computer? Yes, I have. Ah, uh, when uh, you made the uh, start the read the article? Okay. Um, it said uh, the importance of training and development in the work. I know you're not finished, guys. I just want to let you guys know that now you can share your screen. Uh, before, you couldn't share your screen, but I know that now you can. Yeah. Thanks. Teacher. Hi. In my case, I tried to uh, share the screen with Davis. However, soon I cannot share the, the screen. Okay. Right the now, screen. at this moment, I just activated oh, the... Okay. Uh -huh. I just activated, I just wanted to let you guys know, I know you're not finished reading the article, but I just wanted to let you know that I already activated the multiple participants can share screen simultaneously button so that you guys can share the screen now, okay? Okay. Okay. We're gonna go back. Uh, for the people that just came back, uh, I brought the group back because I just activated the share the screen option so multiple participants can share the screen. Do you understand? Got it. 
Okay, yes. multiple participants can share the screen now. I just activated it. Okay, let's continue. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, let me just try to share. Okay. Did you see? No, now we can see uh, the screen. Uh, uh, now, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well. Which is the page? Did you remember the page that you mentioned? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes, one six sixty. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm sorry, my computer is so slowly. I don't know what happened. Yeah, no problem. This one, right? Mm, yes, that one. Important to the bell of it. How I'm we so can sorry. see. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, I can see it. Training, training the work workforce. Okay. okay. Pero como lo abrimos, que no me da, fíjate, no sé por qué. What do you want to open? Um, we want to open, we need to open that one. The link, um, if you only copy and put in the search bar in the upper side in your browser. Okay. Or in the link, uh, okay, your copy. I got it. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Where, where do you work in a call center? No. How do you know that? No, I assume that you work in a call center. <laughs> Yes, I have Do you work for I guess uh, you mentioned last time that you work for Site. Ah, uh, yes, I'm working in Sites. Yes, in, in Sites for seven months. Uh, oh, nice. Uh -huh. And you? In case where I, work you work? I work for Expedia. I work for Expedia. You are working in Expedia. Sorry. Yes. Or me? Ah. No, me. Ah. Me. I am. Ah, I am me. working in speed. Okay. Yes, I, I ah. have heard that you mentioned last time that you work for uh, this Gordon. insurance account back. I guess. Oh, my Gordon. God. It's really nice. Uh -huh. By the way, 
joining the full English account or joining the bilingual? No, in a full English account. Oh, nice. I, in my case, I am working for the moment in the bilingual. Uh, yes, a bilingual. Yes, I, I am in an English account and full English. I always um, speak every day and speaking with American people. Oh, nice. So you will learn a lot. What are you doing here? <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Um, because sometimes I guess I have to improve some uh, important things when uh, grammar, grammar or mm -hmm. probably yes, that's why um, and I'm here uh, because sometimes, you know, when you're speaking to uh, make some mistakes or do you want to improve it, all of those things that you can fix in this program, so. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you are. Uh, we can start reading. You can start if you wish. Um. Yes. Um. Of course. Okay. I will start right now. The importance of training and development in the workplace. Training press. Oh, I'm sorry. This training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees, but many employers find the development opportunities expensive. Employees also miss, have, miss out on work time while attending training sessions, which may delay the competition, the completion of a project. Despite the potential drawn box training and development providers about the, both the company as a whole and the individual employees with the benefit that makes the cost and the time worthwhile investment. Okay, I'm going to start in the second one. Addresses employee weaknesses. Most employees have some weaknesses in their employee workplace skills. A training program allows you to train those skills that each employee needs to improve. A development program brings all employees to a higher level, so they all have a similar skill and knowledge. This helps reduce any weak links within the company who rely heavily on others to complete basic work tasks. Providing the necessary training creates an overall knowledgeable staff with employee who can take over for one another as needed. Work or things or work independently, we have constant help and supervise for others. Improve employee performance. An employee who receives the necessary training is better able to perform her job. She becomes more aware of safely practices and proper procedure for basic stacks. The training may also build the employee's confidence because she has a stronger understanding of the industry and the responsibilities of her job. This confidence may push her to perform even better and think of new ideas that can help her excel. Continuous training also kicks your employees on the cutting edge of industry developments. Employees who are competing on a and on top of changing industry standards, standards help your company hold a position as a leader and a strong competitor within the industry. Okay, continue, please. Um, you're breaking up a structure training and development. A uh, structured training and development program ensures that employees have a consistent experiences experience and background knowledge. The uh, consistency is particularly relevant for the company basic policy and procedures. All employees need to be aware of, uh, of the expectation and procedures within the company. This includes safety, discrimination, and, 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 and administrative tasks 
Putting all employees through the regulator training in these areas ensures that all staff members at least have exposure to the information, employee job satisfaction, employees with access to training and development programs have the advantage over employees in other companies who are left to seek out training opportunities on their own. The investigation training that company make shows the employees they are valued to training creates a, a um, support supportive workplace. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have the otherwise known about or, or sought, sought out themselves. Employees who uh, feel appreciated and challenged to, to training opportunities may feel more satisfaction toward the, your, they, their jobs. Okay, thank you. Elmita, are you here? Hello, you I didn't me. know that Elmita was with us. Hi. Mm. Estoy triste. No, I am not motivation. <laughs> ah, no estoy triste. <laughs> okay, hey, Marlon, sorry. What do you understand about what we read? What I what you read. About, yeah. um, what I understood about this. Uh, Article, mm -hmm. um, yes, um, how important is um, provide training to your employers? It is really important because there will be more knowledge about their product or about your company. Also, they will be more able to uh, develop uh, skills in your company. At the okay. same time, they will be more valuable they feel value and important for the company. And basically it's all about uh, how important it is to train, train uh, your, your uh, employees. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, Thelma, did you read uh, the, the paragraph, the article, sorry? Uh, this paragraph. Confident. It's not you can start reading. We are discussing this article and we are going to provide the ideas what we understood about it. I will be out just for a couple of minutes, okay? Go ahead. I will be okay. I will, I will, I need to go do something. Okay, go, go. Okay, Thelma. Hello, hello. So one, we can start reading. You can start seeing the importance of training and development in the workplace. Yes, I understand. Uh, the importance of training and development development in the workplace. Is this right? Yes. Okay. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of employees. But many employers find the development opportunities expensive. Employees also miss out on work time while attending training sessions, which may delay the completion, completion of mm -hmm. projects, despite yes, yes. the potential drawbacks. Training and development provides both the companies uh, well and the individual employees with benefits that make the cost and time a worthwhile investment. Okay. Guys, uh, have you ever attended 
a, a train a training that in your sorry company oh, no 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 only listen only okay it is the second part the one that is company witnesses me if you wish we already finished we already read it. okay okay bye All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jessica, please read for me the next paragraph, which is addressing employee weaknesses. Okay. Most employees have some weaknesses in their work, workplace skills. A training program allows you to strengthen how can I Strength, strengthen, 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 strengthen those, those skills that each employee needs to improve. A development pro program brings all employees to a higher level so they all have similar skills and knowledge. This helps reduce any weak any weak links within the company who really who rely heavily on others to complete ba basic work tasks. Providing the necessary training creates an overall knowledge knowledgeable staff with employees who can take over for one another as needed. Work or work on teams or work independent, independently without constant help and supervision, supervision, supervision. supervision from others. Excellent. Thank you, Jocelyn, perfect. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the yes. vocabulary in this section? Yes, teacher, sorry, me, the, 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 how, did you say this word strengthen strengthen repeat string string strengthen strengthen uh-huh you have to compress your string. teeth repeat one more time string string thin thin strengthen string thin Strengthen. 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 Uh -huh. With Strengthen. a TH. Strengthen. Strengthen. Strengthen those skills. Okay. Another Thank question. You. Another question related to this paragraph. This, this other word, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Very good. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Repeat. Yes. No. No, ledge, ledge, a ball, a ball, knowledgeable, 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 knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. okay. knowledgeable. Yes, teacher. Yes, I, I have a question. Yes, in this context, what does it mean addressing? What does it mean? Uh, addressing, addressing, addressing. Uh, addressing. Good question. Uh, normally, the word address means dirección, right? So, in this context, when they say, I am going to... In the safety performance, she becomes more aware of safety practice and proper procedures for basic tasks. The training may also build the employee's confidence because... She has a stronger understanding of the industry and the responsibilities of her job. This confidence may push her to perform even better and think of new ideas that help her 
excel. Continuous training also keeps your employees on the cutting edge of the industry developments. Employees who are competent and on top of changing industry standards help your company hold a position as a leader and a strong competitor within the industry. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. At this moment, does anybody have any questions from this section? Referring to the vocabulary or pronunciation or meaning of the words? Somebody? Me, uh, me. Uh, yeah, the yes. word, the, the consistence, the consistence, right? Consistence. Consistency. Consistence. Consistence and particular, particularly, right? Particularly. Particularly. No, Particularly. Repeat. Particularly. Particularly. Correct. Particularly. Count. Particularly and Excellent. consistently. Consistently. Consistently, particularly. Con correct. Very good. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yes. Okay, go ahead, uh, Madeline. Read the next part. Okay, structure training and development. A structure training and development pro program ensures that employees have a consistent experience and background knowledge. The consistency is particularly relevant for the company's basic policies and procedures. All employees need to be aware of the expectation and procedures within the company. This includes safety, discrimination, and administrative tasks. Putting all employees through regular training in these areas ensures that all the staff and members at least have exposure to the information. Perfect. Thank you. Any questions from this section? Questions from this section? Vocabulary questions. Pronunciation question. Uh, po policies or policies? Uh, no, policies. 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 Pa. Pa. Po. No. Po. No. Pa. Pa. Uh -huh. Policies. Policies. In the, in the second word of the paragraph teacher, the structure. Structured. The, the, uh, the second Ru piece on something like, like G, structure. Structured, correct. In this okay. case, it's not a structure like a building. It's more yes. like a structure, like a program or an agenda. It's just like something systematic. Correct. Yes. That is correct. A format, Thank you. yes. Another question? Exposure. What is the meaning of exposure? Exposure. Exponer. Oh, okay. At least have exposure to the information. Por lo menos te expones a la información. Okay. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right. The last one, employee job satisfaction. Employee job satisfaction. Let me have one participant please read this part. Me. All right. Go ahead. You can start reading. Employee job satisfaction. Employees with access to training and development programs have the advantage over employees in other companies who are left to seek out training opportunities on their own. The investment in training that a company makes 
shows the employees they are valued. The training creates a supportive workplace. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or sought out themselves. Employees who feel appreciated and challenged through training opportunities may feel more satisfaction toward their jobs. Perfect. Thank you, Fatima. Excellent. Does anybody have questions related to the pronunciation or meaning of the words in this section? The meaning of the word so out, so out. Thought, thought out themselves. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about. Los empleados tendrán acceso a capacitaciones que ellos de otra forma no hubieran sabido o buscado ellos mismos. Eh, sought out viene de la palabra seek, de yes. buscar, seek, look for. Look for. Okay, it comes from the word seek, sought. The verb pasado participios. Correct. Correct. Seek, sought. Buscar. Sought out themselves. Lo buscaron ellos mismos. Um, and I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. A lot of times, as an employee, you don't know what software to study, what programs to study, right? Because you focus on your job. So the administrator, he looks for trainings that are going to help his employees perform better. Okay, now what you guys are going to do is you're going to go to the platform. And over here, where it says video conference number five, design a structured request to access training programs. What you're going to do is you're going to write a short, uh, like an email. You're going to write it over here at the bottom. on the discussion right here in this section. You're going to write like a short email where it's gonna say, a dear a boss or dear a Mr. Ramirez, dear Miss Chavez, whatever. And you're gonna say greetings to you or good evening or good afternoon. It's, I hope that you're doing well today. The reason why I'm writing this email is because I'm interested in taking a training in the area that I'm working on. As you already know, technology is advancing and new softwares and new systems and new processes are becoming more and more popular in my environment, which has opened my curiosity and my desire in my heart to take part in these kinds of trainings. I don't know if you guys could subsidize me or maybe pay for one of the trainings that I'm going to mention, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can write about uh, something that interests you. Uh, sales, for example, I love sales, right? Maybe you can tra take a professional training from Harvard about sales or Oxford from sales. Maybe you are an accountant and you want to take a training on a new accountant software. Uh, maybe you are a teacher and you want to take a training on a specific, uh, a specific platform that helps teachers teach better, right? Whatever your area may be. Do you have any questions? Okay. You can write the same email as your partners and one student can share his screen. Let's go. You will have a couple of minutes.
Okay, uh, good to see you again. So let's just work. Um, so in this case, uh, someone really can, can share the screen, please. I will share my screen. Give me one second, please. Can you see it? Can you see? What we are going to do? Okay, uh, this is the topic that we are going to start in this moment. Uh, addresses employee weaknesses. Um, I, I don't know if I understand correctly, but we are going to write an email, right? Mm -hmm. In the platform. Uh, yeah, we are going to write an email uh, requesting a training. In this video. In this? Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Yes, yes, in this. Yes. Um, but what? <laughs> well, I have an idea. Okay. Um, Can you write it in the chat? And I will copy and paste. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I'm going to share my example, <laughs> and we can work with that with that one. You need to see the the paragraph. But no. Okay. Well, this is a part of the of the email. Oh, I have a question. This message was sent to only you two or to everyone? I don't know. In I think that only in our group. Okay, I, I hope that. Well, what I have so far is today, Mr. Jones, I would like to request a training, a training. I miss the A, a training so, in it. Design structure request for sex training programs. What are you going to write this? Bye. 
Video conference design a structure request to access learning programs. Uh, okay, I would like to request training in a new program in marriage, right? And then to support web certification program that we're in program in this company and not looking to this company. Okay. I think it's good. Yeah. But I think it needs a little bit of work. Manuela, so an idea? <laughs> Any okay. idea? No. For this moment, I don't understand the, the topic. Uh, about the price that we had to put on the, the link. About the what? So in this case, what are we going to do uh, about the, about this topic? I didn't finish the idea that the teacher said Um, the teacher, are you there? Can you help? Me? Can you help us? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, basically, okay. you're just going to make a write a letter on the platform, on the platform. Mm -hmm. and asking, asking your supervisor or your manager, basically, hey, dear, let's say that your boss name is Mario. You're going to say, for example, a hey, uh, dear Mario. Hi, I hope that you are doing well in health and in good spirit. The reason I'm writing this email is because I would like to request a special training for my department. As you well know, a lot of technology, a lot of software, a lot of apps, software platforms have been developed where people can do home uh, work from home home office right basically it's going to be like you writing a writing a email to to your boss requesting a a special training Perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Maybe there are more people that don't have clear the instructions. I'm going to explain one more time. Okay. Give me just a sec. Okay, guys, uh, I know you are not finished. I was just wondering 
if everybody understands this activity or does somebody have a question uh, maybe somebody did not understand the the task if you have a question please ask me we finished teacher okay can you give me your example and share with the class yes teacher i can share it the in the screen of course Here is my email. Okay. Dear supervisors, greetings to you. I am writing this because I am interested in a particular training related with my job. There are new software and applications. This is an S. The, uh -huh. And applications about warehousing, about transportation, about pricing, about inventories, about packaging. And I need to take at least one of them. Some of the trainings that I'm missing one is there are some of these trainings are addressed by the same company that gave us our last training. Mm -hmm. In the file enclosed to this email are the schedules, the price, and the duration of each of these trainings. I will appreciate that you consider this not. Sincerely, Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So yes, definitely. That is exactly what you guys are doing. Um, is everybody clear on the instructions? Thank you, David. Does anybody have any questions right now? No. Okay. I'm going to give you more time so that you can work with your team and write the letter. Uh, in the case that David, uh, since you already finished, you can go ahead and go to the next activity. The next okay. activity is a reading from the student book. We're going to go to the next article video, find out why companies of all size feel it's important to invest in a highly skilled and trained workforce. I'm going to share the link on the group. So if you are finished, you can go ahead and start watching this video. For the rest of you, you will have more time to complete the activity. Uh, Manuel, mm -hmm. did you read uh, the, the example that I sent the last time in chat? Uh, what do you mean? I sent a message okay. in chat with an example of an email. In WhatsApp or in Zoom? No, no, Zoom. Zoom, okay, let me check in this moment. We could use it uh, as an mm -hmm. sample or we go. Yes, we, I can see we'll it. work with that. Um, it is, I hope you are having an amazing week. This reason for my email is to request a training in a new programming language for the entire a department as uh, it is necessary to support web application in production that we were programmed by employees who are not longer with the company and none of the active employees have knowledge of this language. Uh, it's, it, is, it is really, uh, really good. Just we can end the, the letter, for example, sincerely the name of someone, for example, 
si Sereli i quick invent anem for example Miss Sincerely Madeline or your name but it is okay uh, yeah I think we need um like um, yes uh, it is really nice the letter or I remain attentive to your comments. Or if you have any question about this, you can contact me. Okay. No, in this case, no. Uh, maybe we can write the, the date for today. For example, as a normal letter, writing the, the date. For example, May, May, it is May 11. 2022 and the greeting uh, but, but oh, it is okay. it is okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take the attendance at this moment. When I call your name, I want you to say present. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. When I call your name, I want you to say present. Okay. Okay, today is the 11th. Hey, Axel, Gabriel. Present. Present. Andres Giovanni. Present. Present. Blanca Stephanie. Absent. David Samuel. Present teacher. Present. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Present. Erwin Largos. Lagos. Present teacher. Present. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Present. Francisco. Present, teacher. Excellent, Francisco. Fredis Vladimir. Fredis Vladimir. Absent. Jarvin Isaac. Present, teacher. Present. Kenya Esmeralda. Kenya Esmeralda. Absent. Marilyn Yamelet. Present. Present. Manuel De Jesus. Present. Excellent. Marlon Stanley. Good. Uh, Thelma Cleotilde. Present. Thank you, Thelma. William Alexander. Present. Excellent. Jessica Yanari. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Imelda. Present. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, let me hear some of your examples. I would like to listen to some of your examples. Uh, Erwin Lagos, let me hear your examples, please. For me, teacher? Yes. Uh, okay, about the, 
the the video. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For me, uh, the one communication you can get a training in the world in the world face mm -hmm. about the communication is so important at the moment. Okay. Because many people uh, no don't work together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they don't have communication skills. Yes. They, they can't yes. work together because they don't have communication skills. Excellent. Yes, yes. And um, the goals of the, of the work, they don't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that. Thank you, Erwin. Uh, let me have uh, somebody else. Fatima. Okay. Share your example. Okay. Um, good day, Mr. John. I hope you're having an amazing week. The reason for my email is to request a training in a new programming language for the entire IS department, as it is necessary to support web application in production that were programmed by employees who are no longer with the company. Mm -hmm. and none of the active employees have knowledge of this language. Mm -hmm. The programming language is React.js, and we would like to start a training as soon as possible. We really appreciate the support you give us to the department. I remain attentive to your comment, and if you have any question, please let me know. Kindly regards, Fatima Gaitan. Perfect. Excellent, Fatima. Good job. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. All right, let me have um, Andres Giovanni. Andres Giovanni, let me hear your example. Okay, teacher. Uh, dear Mr. Santos, I am writing in order to request the opportunity to receive a, an accounting course due to the new legislation because we need to get the knowledge about the international standard accounting. Mm -hmm. The course will bring us new skills and will improve the company workforce. Mm -hmm. I will appreciate your help. Sincerely, Michael Smith, HR department. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Okay. I imagine that everybody wants to share their letter, but we have to move forward. For the next activity, what we are going to do is go to the student book and we're going to find out why companies of all sizes feel it's important to invest in highly skilled and trained workforce. You're going to click on the link You are going to watch the video and then you are going to answer the question. Why so many companies are investing in training their employees? Are you ready? Let's yes, go. One more time. Hello. Um, I guess we're going to work as a team today because we select in the same groups. So in this case, I am really, really ashamed because I, I, I don't have any access to the platform. So can you be so kind to share the, the video, please? Sure, sure, don't worry. Thank you. And let me share the sound.
the number one thing that you can do to have a safe work or a safe workforce is to have a highly skilled and trained workforce. We train for uh, increased productivity, for better quality control, uh, for better results and safety, all of which we've seen since we have been training for the last five to seven years. The return on investment for us is repeat customers. The way to build that customer base is certainty of outcome every time they can count on you. They only can do that if you have quality people working for you. The companies that don't do that, I'm happy for them because they're not even worthy competitors. Quite frankly, we'll win the work. We build repeat customers by training and having quality help. What you're training someone to do with education is to find a great sense of self-worth and a place where that person can make their best contribution. It's an opportunity for somebody to earn a great living and be satisfied when they come home every day that they've done a good day's work. We train because there's not a ready supply of craft people in, in, the, in the market. We also have found that the people that we train and bring into our company are maybe a little bit more loyal, maybe a little bit more apt to stay, maybe become part of our culture. We're committed to training because, first of all, it's the right thing to do. You must do it. You want to create a safe, skilled workforce. You do that, you're going to be productive. The construction industry needs a new workforce. The owners need a new workforce. And the only way you're going to get there is training. And the more contractors and owners that will commit to training, whether it's good times or not such good times as it relates to the economy or oil prices, the better off you're going to be. The contractors don't specifically own the craft, particularly in the industrial field. So most of the craft, to even be qualified to go to work for any contractor, has to have some sort of credentials. When you hire a craft person who's going through the NCCER training, regardless of where in the country, the credentials that they've earned are standard. NCCER has created the capability and the resources to train every worker we need for our industry. I'm proud of that. The only thing we need to create is the commitment by industry to put the people in the program so that we can make it happen. Did you hear the video? Uh, yes. So, um, I guess the accents is, is a little difficult, but... Yeah, uh, I don't know if you want yeah. me to re replay mm -hmm. the video, but maybe lower. The number one thing that you can do to have a safe work or, or a safe work. It is better? Mm hmm Okay. Safe work or, or a safe workforce is to have a highly skilled and trained workforce. We train for uh, increased productivity, for better quality control, uh, for better results and safety, all of which we've seen since we have been training for the last five to seven years. The return on investment for us is repeat customers. The way to build that customer base is certainty of outcome every time they can count on you. They only can do that if you have quality people working for you. The companies that don't do that, I'm happy for them because they're not even worthy competitors. Quite frankly, we'll win the work. We build repeat customers by training and having quality help. What you're training someone to do with education is to find a great sense of self-worth and a place where that person can make their best contribution. It's an opportunity for somebody to earn a great living and be satisfied when they come home every day that they've done a good day's work. We train because there's not a ready supply of craft people in, in, the, in the market. We also 
have found that the people that we train and bring into our company are maybe a little bit more loyal, maybe a little bit more apt to stay, they become part of our culture. We're committed to training because, first of all, it's the right thing to do. You must do it. You want to create a safe, skilled workforce. You do that, you're going to be productive. The construction industry needs a new workforce. The owners need a new workforce. And the only way you're going to get there is training. And the more contractors and owners that will commit to training, whether it's good times or not such good times as it relates to the economy or oil prices, the better off you're going to be. The contractors don't specifically own the craft, particularly in the industrial field. So most of the craft to even be qualified to go to work for any contractor has to have some sort of credentials. When you hire a craft person who's going through the NCCER training, regardless of where in the country, the credentials that they've earned are standard. NCCER has created the capability and the resources to train every worker we need for our industry. I'm proud of that. The only thing we need to create is the commitment by industry to put the people in the program so that we can make it happen. And now I understand more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that the, the thing that they, they share is that, it, well, all the things that we saw before in the class, that uh, how training uh, to the employees uh, helped a lot uh, to the companies and some, uh, some of them say that uh, is that uh, it is uh, investment uh, for the company because the employees can uh, as he uh, says uh -huh, uh, can have more knowledge uh, be confident with the things that they are doing mm -hmm. uh, in safety and, Showing. Mm -hmm. so and also a, uh, have better results uh, in the in the company. Mm -hmm. Correct. They also mentioned it that uh, they have found in most of the cases that the people that way that they train are more loyal. Yeah, loyal, loyal. They can be more loyal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they also say that a training is something that the companies must do. Yes, great opportunities on growing on the company, uh, growing uh, with a uh, good strength. Um, and also, uh, someone mentioned um, they can make it. They can make the a, a job. I can do it if they uh, can uh, develop excellent uh, commitment on the on the company and have success as a good employees and grow up successfully as a good company. Yes, I think that is all the information mm -hmm. and resume. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
in the activity once only see watch the video and then share or comment I, I remember that the teacher said that we are going to answer a question but i don't remember the question <laughs> <laughs> And in the platform, is there? Maybe. No. I don't know if it was going to be a discussion. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, find out why companies of all sizes feel it's important to invest in a highly skilled and trained work workforce. That that uh, that is the question. No, that is on the. Let me show you. Here, this is the link of the video and on the description says, find out why companies of all sizes feel it's important to invest in a highly skilled and trained workforce. Find out why companies Why, I think we already said uh, the reason of why. Yes, we share our comments. Mm -hmm. For example, seven. Uh, All right, guys, let's hear the video together. The number one thing that you can do to have a safe worker or a safe workforce is to have a highly skilled and trained workforce. We train for uh, increased productivity, for better quality control, uh, for better results and safety, all of which we've seen since we have been training for the last five to seven years. The return on investment for us is repeat customers. The way to build that customer base is certainty of outcome every time they can count on you. They only can do that if you have quality people working for you. The companies that don't do that, I'm happy for them because they're not even worthy competitors. Quite frankly, we'll win the work. We build repeat customers by training and having quality help. What you're training someone to do with education is to find a great sense of self-worth and a place where that person can make their best contribution. It's an opportunity for somebody to earn a great living and be satisfied when they come home every day that they've done a good day's work. We train because there's not a ready supply of craft people in, in, the, in the market. We also have found that the people that we train and bring into our company are maybe a little bit more loyal, maybe a little bit more apt to stay. They become part of our culture. We're committed to training because, first of all, it's the right thing to do. You must do it. You want to create a safe, skilled workforce. You do that, you're going to be productive. The construction industry needs a new workforce. The owners need a new workforce. And the only way you're going to get there is training. And the more contractors and owners that will commit to training, whether it's good times or not such good times as it relates to the economy or oil prices, the better off you're going to be. The contractors don't specifically own the craft, particularly in the industrial field. So most of the craft, to even be qualified to go to work for any contractor, has to have some sort of credentials. When you hire a craft person who's going through the NCCER training, regardless of where in the country, the credentials that they've earned or standard. NCCER has created the capability and the resources to train every worker we need for our industry. I'm proud of that. The only thing we need to create 
is the commitment by industry to put the people in the program so that we can make it happen. All right. Who can tell me what are some of the reasons that these uh, CEOs expressed of the importance of training the workforce? Well, they they talk about Hi, have David. a high they they talk about have a high life skills and training the workforce. Mm -hmm. Increase productivity, yeah, is quality control, uh -huh. and some something that is important for them is repeat customer. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get repeat customer is to get to get the the uh, high skilled help. That's right. High skilled workforce. That's right. Okay? And that these people are not just naturally out there. You have yes. to train them. Excellent. Thank you, David. Yes. Somebody yes. else that wants to give me an example. Thank you, David. They mentioned they train for better quality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And why would that be important to train for better quality? Jocelyn, how can that affect the business? If you don't provide good quality to your employees, they will not make the work correctly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, because they will not know how to do it. They will not have the knowledge to do it, the capacity to do it. Excellent. Somebody else? Anybody else? Me. Also, uh, mm -hmm. they mentioned that if you uh, training your workforce, uh, they uh, will have more confidence mm -hmm. and will bear the job with safety, mm -hmm. and th that will help the, to the company to uh, have better results. Correct. Correct. So when you build the self-esteem of the employees, that's going to help them perform their jobs better. Excellent. Thank you, Madeline. Somebody else? Okay. So what we're going to do is here on the platform, you're going to go to the platform. You're going to go to the platform. And under the email that you wrote under it, you are going to write or you can start a new publication and you are going to write at least four reasons why Companies invest so much money on training their staff. And you're going to write it on the discussion forum. Ready? Let's go. Write at least four reasons in the discussion forum. Can you share me the? Can you share with me the the uh, the email that we wrote in the WhatsApp, please? Okay, let me try. I'm I having problems with my computer. Maybe when the class finish, I will I will share the email because now I can't. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I think that um, the main reason that the day is is as they have a a general approach and uh, that is their company grows so it's necessary for them uh, that uh, their workforce the, is well the, trained for their yeah. challenge <laughs> so okay the, and then the idea that we need to write is something about the company grows if yeah. the word for grows too. What about it? Okay, we can write, we can write it. And I think a second reason is the, the need or necessity to in this, bring. In, yeah. Oh. Yes, and invest in, invest in, in more, training, yeah. mm -hmm. in more accurate training courses because we yeah. Yeah. the companies don't need to to bring uh, any kind of courses that it can it can get an advantage okay yes i agree with you it's important for every area. Um, in my case, in my company, uh, um, in, uh, in the, um, every, every three months have a training about the the how to identify the fake money or money laundry. So uh, already have a, a new a new system, accounting system, uh, because okay. uh, it's important uh, updates for us. In our in our area, and uh, the company thinks that is important uh, have a, a sure or oh, safety safety program to to know the the that problem, yeah, and that the my area, my partners knows uh, and, and, and acting, acting uh, immediately and solve and resolve the problem fastly, yeah? Yes, yes. It's, it's important because there are many problems when you, um, when you uh, making transfer in a in a platform into the yeah. how do you say mm -hmm. uh, sistema bancario bank banking system, system. yeah yes. um, there are many people that have bad ideas <laughs> yes, yes yeah um, yeah it's important for the companies in this in this this training now 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we have uh, two, two ideas. And, and one of the ideas was the, the company grows if the workforce grows too, no? Yeah, so important that the workforce grows too. Not only company, uh, but yes. also the employees grows with uh, gets a uh, get new. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me have Fernando. Can you? Can I hear some of your examples? Okay. Uh, I was reading a, a little about this topic, and mm -hmm. uh, usually uh, the trainings are given because uh, the, employee, the, employee, the employees, mm -hmm. uh, they feel, uh, they feel uh, the, the support of the company mm -hmm. and they, they feel that he, he, they are uh, growing okay. in, on their skills, their knowledge that because that is important for the, the professional career. Mm -hmm. And another, another benefit to, to, to the company about the training is uh, the, the training uh, save money, save money because mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 the same people that finish a course mm -hmm. can, can give a course for the new employees, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, the, and when it's like a, a system, uh, mm -hmm. all, all are connected and Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, 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 the employees uh, help to the other employees. That's right. That's right, because it's one organization. So they share knowledge with each other. Yes. Correct. Very good. Uh, select somebody, Fernando. Doris, okay, Doris, let me hear your examples. Okay, the training uh, is good with, because it's a uh, improve the skills mm -hmm. the employees, uh, increase the productivity, mm -hmm. uh, the training uh, become a uh, a best person a uh, employees in when the the employees is a best person, they do a good job. Correct. Yeah. And the customer uh, prefer a uh, 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 employee's training. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah. Because if you have knowledgeable people working in your company, they are going to do a good job. But if nobody knows what they are supposed to be doing, or they don't know how to do it, then you will not have a successful company. Thank you, Doris. Select somebody, Doris. Um, William. All right, William, please give us your examples. I was with Dory. I was the same example. Oh, okay, that's okay. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, William. Okay, guys, now we are going to look at the following video. In the student book, you are going to go to the same page and you're going to look at this one. Interview, why invest in employee training and development? You are going to, I'm going to share the link with you. You're gonna click on it. 
and you're going to watch and discuss this video. I'm going to share the link over here. And I'm also going to share the link in the WhatsApp group. Okay, ready, let's go. Uh, Doris, you are going to stay today after class. Doris. Okay. Why do you think uh, it's important to invest in employees. I think in times of crisis, whether it be recession, you know, hello, Doris. Hello, Doris. You are in mute, Doris. Hey, Doris, a usted le toca quedarse ahora. next to them on either side are losing their jobs or losing their homes, there's a little bit of security in knowing that your company is investing in you. And so there's a culture, it's a mindset, it's a, a sense of confidence that a CEO can give their employees to help build loyalty. Uh, and it's, it's inexpensive compared to the retraining and the rehiring and losing people uh, side of the business. You know, to be able to invest in somebody a small amount of a few thousand dollars a year and keep them, keep them happy. We've seen so many surveys over the years where you know people don't leave because of money they leave because they're not valued and one of the reasons that you can help your employees stay feel valued is to invest in them be it training be it investing in their personal lives providing daycare you know simple things like that and i think those leaders that see that and that really understand how to commit to the people uh, of the organization and yeah it costs money and there's some you know PL stuff that has to be worked out but at the same time even a little bit at least shows i care and there's a phrase that I've, I've heard over and over again that you know being listened to feels so much like being loved you can hardly tell the difference and when an employee feels listened to or invested in they feel much more loyal to the organization because they feel that somebody cares about them Lo, lo. Ay, se me perdió. ¿Lo pongo otra vez? Liz. Ok, se me perdió. Thank you. 
Why do you think uh, it's important to invest in employee learning and development? I think in times of crisis, whether it be recession, you know, people are next to them on either side or losing their jobs or losing their homes. There's a little bit of security in knowing that your company is investing in you. And so there's a culture, it's a mindset, it's a, a sense of confidence CEO can give their employees to help build loyalty. Uh, and it's it's inexpensive compared to the retraining and the rehiring and the losing people uh, side of the business. You know, to be able to invest in somebody a small amount of a few thousand dollars a year and keep them, keep them happy. We've seen so many surveys over the years where, you know, people don't leave because of money, they leave because they're not valued. And one of the reasons that you can help your employees stay, feel valued is to invest in them, be it training, be it investing in their personal lives, providing daycare, you know, simple things like that. And I think those leaders that see that and that really understand how to commit to the people uh, of the organization, and yeah, it costs money. And there's some, you know, P&L stuff that has to be worked out. But at the same time, even a little bit at least shows, I here. And there's a phrase that I've, I've heard over and over again that, you know, being listened to feels so much like being loved. You can hardly tell. And when an employee feels listened to or invested in, they feel much more loyal to the organization because they feel that somebody cares about them. Why do you think uh, it's important to invest in employee learning and development? I think in times of crisis, whether it be recession, you know, people are next to them on either side or losing their jobs or losing their homes. There's a little bit of security in knowing that your company is investing in you. And so there's a culture, it's a mindset, it's a, a sense of confidence that a CEO can give their employees to help build loyalty. Uh, and it's, it's inexpensive compared to the retraining and the rehiring and the losing people uh, side of the business. You know, to be able to invest in somebody a small amount of a few thousand dollars a year and keep them, keep them happy. We've seen so many services surveys over the years where, you know, people don't leave because of money, they leave because they're not valued. And one of the reasons that you can help your employees stay, feel valued is to invest in them, be it training, be it investing in their personal lives, providing daycare, you know, simple things like that. And I think those leaders that see that and that really understand how to commit to the people uh, of the organization, and yeah, it costs money. And there's some, you know, P&L stuff that has to be worked out. But at the same time, even a little bit at least shows I care. And there's there's a phrase that I've, I've heard over and over again that, you know, being listened to feels so much like being loved. You can hardly tell the difference. And when an employee feels listened to or invested in, they feel much more loyal to the organization because they feel that somebody cares about them. Why do you think uh, it's important to invest in employee learning and development? I think in times of crisis, whether it be recession, you know, people are next to them on either side or losing their jobs or losing their homes. There's a little bit of security in knowing that your company is investing in you. And so there's a culture, it's a mindset, it's a, a sense of confidence that a CEO can give their employees to help build loyalty. Uh, and it's it's inexpensive compared to the retraining and the rehiring and the losing people uh, side of the business. You know, to be able to invest in somebody a small amount of a few thousand dollars a year. You don't have mot motivation. And uh, in my case, I think that, uh, I don't know how to say it. I don't feel well, but because like to estimate I think the, everybody the may, I, I think that everybody makes things that are important for uh, growing the company. The attendant. Yeah. Uh, what is the what is what the is, reason that they changed it? Uh, yes, what is the reason of the change? What is the new method of, of connection? Because ah, okay. uh, <laughs> yes, you, you need to know how to put the, the correct wires, mm -hmm. and uh, it is it is difficult. And, and other thing was I was putting a, a screw 
mm -hmm. in the world. And you need to pull that that scenes that it made a screw adapt in the in the in the work. And uh -huh, okay. there, is, there are new ways too. And I I lost two or three because I don't know how to put it. <laughs> what well, uh, uh, what it's, uh, it's simple scenes and, and maybe routinary scenes. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, yes, because I remember that for example the switch uh, ego or ego, Aguila have, have only two ports, puertos, for to connect the, the code. What? Oh, no. Recuerdo que los switch Aguila uh -huh. tiene, tenían únicamente dos puertos de conexión. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> But actually others have All right, let me have Fatima. Can you give me some examples uh, that you heard from the video? Well, um, mm -hmm. there was a part of the video that I like a lot. Uh, when the woman says that be listened to or invested on Uh, they, the employees, feels more loyal to the organization, mm -hmm. and that it's so true because mm -hmm. uh, I have seen uh, employees in where I work that they don't feel listened, and they leave not because because they are looking for more money. They leave because they don't feel value. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense, makes sense, especially when you work in a big company like Walmart, Apple, Google, it's common. Yeah, okay. I, I think that uh, make the employees feel value, needed, and listen it are really important. Yes, 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 because they are the backbone of your company. Exactly. Good, good. Good job, Fatima. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. guys, time is up. Uh, I will stay with Doris. Everybody else, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Do your homework. Bye. Work on the platform. Okay. Hello, Doris. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Your microphone is on mute. Hello, hello.
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello.